Does the Bible say anything about Russia in relation to the end times? We're going to answer that question. You can also discover more on gotquestions.org. With Russia back in the news in a big way, many people are wondering if recent events in Eastern Europe have anything to do with end times prophecy. Much of the discussion has to do with an ancient prophecy from Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, set your face against Gog of the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshech and Tubal. Prophesy against him and say, This is what the sovereign Lord says. I am against you, Gog, chief prince of Meshech and Tubal. The identities of Gog, Magog, Meshech, and Tubal are the key to fully understanding the prophecy. Gog is a person. Whoever Gog is, he is from the land of Magog and the leader of Tubal and Meshech, and a confederacy of multiple other nations. Whoever he is, he will have plans to attack a peaceful and unsuspecting people, viz. Israel. But, regardless of Gog's plans, the Lord God is against him and will defeat him soundly. Magog is a land in the far north from Israel's point of view. Most Bible commentators interpret Magog as Russia, and indeed, Russia is straight north of Israel, all the way up to the Arctic Circle. According to this view, Rosh is a reference to Russia. Meshech is either Moscow or the people north of the Black Sea, the area of southern Russia and Ukraine. And Tubal, which is always listed with Meshech in scripture, is identified as a city in Siberia or an area in central Turkey. So yes, the Bible does mention Russia, although not by that name, in connection with the end times. Ezekiel 38 and 39 definitely refer to a nation coming from northern Asia to attack Israel. After the Cold War, Russia lost its superpower status, making the fulfillment of Ezekiel's prophecy seem unlikely in some people's eyes. However, recent events have shown that Russia is gaining strength, and many believe that the invasion of Ukraine is just a first step in Russia's plan to restore its dominance in that hemisphere. It is also interesting to note that in the Soviet era, Moscow was solidly aligned with several Muslim countries in opposition to Israel. Since the breakup of the Soviet Union, Russia has continued to make overtures to the Muslim world. According to the Bible, there will come a time when Russia, in alliance with several other countries, will amass a huge army against Israel with a view to plunder the Jews' land. The nations aligned with Russia for this military endeavor are Persia, modern-day Iran, Put, modern-day Libya, Kush, modern-day Sudan, Gomer, a part of modern-day Turkey, and Beth Togarma, Armenia. Most of these nations are currently militant Islamic states with an express hatred of Israel. Ezekiel says that when the aggressors move against Israel, a few other nations will remonstrate. The objections to Magog's aggression will fall on deaf ears, however and the invasion will continue. Some commentators believe this war is one of the events leading up to the beginning of the tribulation. Others believe it will occur close to the midpoint of the tribulation. Regardless, Israel will feel secure at that time, possibly because of the covenant they have signed with the Antichrist. God promises to destroy Gog's army. I will execute judgment on him with plague and bloodshed. I will pour down torrents of rain, hailstones, and burning sulfur on him and his troops and on the many nations with him. It will take seven months to bury the bodies of the fallen army of Magog. This supernatural judgment will have the effect of preserving Israel and turning many hearts to God and knowledge of him. There is much we do not know for certain about Ezekiel's prophecy, including the timing of these events. However, it is clear that Russia will be involved and will in fact lead an end times league of nations to seize Israel's land. The prophet Ezekiel comforts Israel in much the same way as Moses had centuries ago. The Lord your God is the one who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies to give you victory. That answers the question, does the Bible say anything about Russia in relation to the end times? On our website, gotquestions.org, you'll find a deeper discussion and recommended resources. If this helped you, give us a thumbs up and click subscribe. Meanwhile, if you'd like to study more, click the bell and check out these other questions.